Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create the signup component and functionality. This is the second part of our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. After creating the login component we may want to log in, but unfortunately we don't have any users yet but we can create them by creating the register page or sign up page. Let's do that now. Go to components folder and create a new register.view file. Let's add the default tags, template and scripts. Now in the template paste this HTML. This is a simple register HTML that has a sign up title, first name, input, last name, input, email, password, and password confirm, and a button to create this account. Now let's create the JavaScript, export default, name of this component will be register. So we are basically finished with this component. Let's register it to the router. The path will be registered and the component will be registered. Here we need to import it also. Let's open the browser and write register here. Let me zoom out the screen. So this is how it should look like. First name, last name, password and password confirm. We need to send all this data to the backend in order to create a new user. Let's see how we can get this data. Now we need to handle the submit of this form. when we click this button or when we type enter. To do that, we need to create a submit listener to this form by adding add submit and now we need to create another function that handles this submit. I will call it handle submit. This function needs to be created in property methods of view. I need to remove the parenthesis, sorry, it should be like this. Now let's create our method handle submit. For now we just console log that we submit it. Let's save it and try it out. Let's inspect the page and type some random data here. As you saw, it showed submitted, but it refreshed the page. So if we click again, it will refresh the page. This is not something that we want. To do that, we need to pass the event here, which is a E, and we need to prevent default. This will prevent the default behavior of the submit function. Now, if you go to the page and click the submit button, you can see that it logs submitted. There is also another thing that we need to change. We'll have a lot of forms in the future and it doesn't make sense to add this line on every function that we create. Luckily, Vue has already a predefined method for that. We just need to add dot prevent here and this will prevent default by itself. Let's try it now and refresh. Type sign up and it console log submitted and the page does not refresh. Now we need also to get the input values. To do that, we need to add another property here called data. I will store all the variables that this component will use. To create the variables, we need to return brackets and here we will return every variable that we need. First name, I will initialize it as an empty string. 
last name, also an empty string, email, password, and password confirmed. Keep in mind, in view there are some properties that need a colon and some that need parentheses. Keep in mind to distinguish them. Now let's use these variables. Here I will add another directive called vmodel and I will bind it to first name. What does this mean? This means that every time we change the input, the value of the input will be assigned to this first name variable and the opposite. When we change the first name, the value of the first name will be set to the input. So this is the binding that Vue already provides for us and it's really easy. Let's do the same for last name. For email. Password. And password confirm. Now let's console log these variables. Let's create a data variable here, which is equal to first name this dot first name. So in order to access these variables here, we need to type this dot first name. Last name this dot last name. Password this dot password. Password confirm, this dot password confirm. And I forgot the email here. Email, this dot email. For now, let's console log the data. Open the browser and type some data. After clicking sign up, we can see a JSON object, its values corresponding to the data that we typed. So we are taking all the variables that we need in order to send them to our backend. On the next tutorial, we will use Axios to send the data to our backend.